on is like the tour in the States no more. Mm -hmm. I haven't toured in the States in so long. I know that it's less stressful because you got, I mean, doing shows with him, it's like you got a million people that want to see that show and you want people that want to see him perform and people that want to see me perform or whatever. And you got to accommodate all those people. If I go to New Jersey, I know a lot of people in New Jersey, and it's 30 people that want to get in the list free, and you did this, this, that. When I'm overseas, it's like, oh, all I gotta do is go through the show, we have fun. Like, but then the fans are different. The fans are so appreciative. Like, they, not saying that the people in America aren't, it's just that they, they it's, a, it's, a, it's not, it's a luxury to them. It's not a thing that they, you know, it's, they get it all the time. You know, they got apps for it to tell you when the next show is. And over there, they don't have that. So it's no, it's not a downplay to shit on, you know, home for me, the States. It's just that y'all treat it like a luxury, and these people don't. You want it to be better? You want a better show? You want Jay to give you a different show than what he's giving you? Want him to give you a different show than he's giving you? Stop back and make it such a luxury. <laughs> it's, it's a moment in time that you never gonna get back. That's, you'll never get that moment back. Whatever hype 50 Cent was at the time when he, when In The Club came out and he was this, 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 you should have made that show. And if you didn't make that one, if you demanded for it to be another one, you would have made the next one. People overseas, they not gonna miss it. When they have two shows, they have two shows. And we've done 90,000 people, we've done 60,000 people, Two nights in a row, and I'm pretty sure some of the same people that was at the show before went to the next one. And they have they treat it the same way. It's not a luxury to them. We're spoiled. Our country is spoiled. The people here are spoiled. We spoiled with music. We spoiled with money. We're spoiled with a lot of things. They treat it differently because they don't have it that way. And that's not just with shows. We talking about everything. That's why I like it over here. Not like I don't. I love being at home and I can get grits. I can't get grits everywhere. Can't get grits over there. I love grits. I would love if I was over there and I can get grits and do a show, but I can't. Over here, I can get grits, but I know that if I go to the show, I gotta deal with 30 people that wanna get in free. I gotta deal with people that want backstage passes because they wanna take pictures and they wanna do this. And my team, you don't know, work like that. We don't have a whole bunch of paparazzi around. We don't have a whole bunch of people that's around just taking pictures, and you're able to have access that way because that's the only. We're there. To, we're there to work for the fans. We're there to work for the for those people. It's great too, and it's not like we acting like we're something we're not. I'm not as big as Eminem. I'm a part of it. I'm a supporting cast, but I'm a very important piece. So if my day is messed up because I got 30 people calling me because they need tickets, I might not do such a good show. And I might be mad or something, I ain't got time for that shit, like, you know, that's not really what we're there for, so. It's definitely different, I love it over there, but I love it over here just as much, too.